Hey Leos, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday season. Welcome to your August 2020 love reading. This reading is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you don't know your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, definitely Google that. Um, this way you can watch the videos for your Moon, Rising, and Venus, just so you can get more clarity for the month of August. And in case the messages don't resonate with you, in this video, they may resonate better in the other videos, okay? Also, if you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down in the comment section. Represent for Leo Gang. Let us know how you're celebrating your birthday during this pandemic. And let's get started, okay? So, universe, please pick up on the energy of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. And their person, person of interest, person they're with. And please show me first, what is Leo's energy in the month of August? Let's do that again. That was the Six of Pentacles. What is Leo's energy here in the month of August? The Hermit card, okay. And what is the energy of the other person? What is the energy of the other person? And feel free to change the roles. This is a general reading, so it may flip or resonate better the other way. Wow, Major Arcana, what's going on here, Leo? So you have Hermit and you have the Tower card. <clears throat> it looks like your person is ready to do something extreme, some extreme change, or bring about some sort of Tower moment. You and this person could be not talking to each other, but it seems like they've done something that's caused you to want to distance yourself from them or this person could be very like self-destructive or wanting to bring some sort of destruction or massive change or shocking change to the relationship we'll clarify that what is the energy between the two of them what is the energy for leo in their relationship eight of wands lots of communication going back and forth possibly all right, you've got water signs showing up here. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. One last card for the energy between the two and the three of pentacles. So for some of you, you could have found out something shocking about the person you're dealing with. This person could have had you in some sort of third party situation. There could be a water sign involved here. And you're choosing to you know give them the cold shoulder you're not speaking to them okay um i feel like there's a lot of communication someone's wanting to to communicate here possibly with you or to work it out but there's a need to work something out here to negotiate something to to work on rebuilding something that was lost or something that was been damaged What's the challenge here? What is the challenge? Okay, the Six of Pentacles wanted to come out earlier before and now it's here. So again, trying to find balance here. What is the challenge between Leo and their person? You're coming up now, Leo, Queen of Wands. What is the challenge here? This person may be wanting to work something out with you, negotiate with you, but I feel like you don't want to hear them out. You want to be left alone somehow. So that again, you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio as well. A lot of Scorpio energy. Oh gosh. So that again. <laughs> What's the challenge here between Leo and their person? What is the challenge? Five of Swords. It seems like there's there's an issue with like working things out, coming to a compromise, coming together. Someone is being very stubborn or someone wants all of the control in a situation here. It 
it's almost like a lose-lose situation where I feel like uh, you guys are on different pages. One person here may want to just throw everything away and just end the connection that you guys have. Because there's a lot of arguments, a lot of imbalance between the two of you. Could have to deal with some sort of third party or person here that's bringing imbalance. What is the outcome? Seven of Swords is here, okay. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for Leo in their love life here in August? Ace of Wands, new beginnings. Yeah, someone could be wanting to be on their own, to be single. Someone starting over. Someone's walking away from a situation so they can have a new beginning, a brand new beginning, because there's a lot of conflict here. A lot of conflict. What's this tower card? Let's clarify. Oops. Let's clarify. We're going to use the mini Rider Waite deck. And let's see why this other person's energy is the tower. Why is this person's, uh, Leo's person's energy the tower? Why is Leo's person's energy the tower card? Yeah, you see, five of wands, lots of conflict, lots of fighting. This person is very, like, explosive. They're very easy to anger. A lot of this argument is... is tearing the two of you apart and someone I feel like is just going to leave some some information could be coming out as well that's going to cause someone to want to have a new beginning to want to start over and I feel like Leo you really don't want to be bothered here with your energy as the hermit why is Leo's energy the hermit why is Leo's energy the hermit the death card yeah it looks like you're ready definitely a lot like i said before a lot of scorpio energy here but you're definitely ready to end something here for good and it seems like you do that here you're tired of the arguments you're tired of the fighting this person may want to end things as well but there's a lot of conflict around the person that you're dealing with and you seem to want to put an end to the conflict, an end to that, and to move forward. Who is this? Who is this Knight of Cups? And the energy between the two of you. Yeah, you see, third party here, Three of Cups. There is some third party energy here, it's an extra person. Someone could have found out that there is a third party information came to light or someone was doing something because you have the seven of swords here someone was being sneaky or trying to hide something that they were doing someone that they were involved with they could have also been giving this person money as well why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here Strength. That's you, Leo. Yeah, I see you walking away. A lot of you, Leos, are walking away from a situation that has a lot of toxicity, a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, a lot of secrecy. Could be a lot of drinking as well. This person is, is socializing a lot, drinking. Um, for some of you, you're finding out about third parties. And it seems like you're done. You've already um, kind of like spiritually and emotionally disconnected from this person. You want to be on your own. It's like the, you, you've already accepted that the situation is, is dead with the death card. 
And it's a matter of actually taking that action and moving forward and leaving the situation for good and starting over, starting fresh, having a new beginning. Because it seems like you guys are not going to be able to reconcile um, your differences, at least not in this month. So someone is following a new beginning, taking a new direction. Let's pull some cards from the Romance Angels and see what messages the universe has for you in this situation. Some messages or guidance for Leo in the month of August in their love life. You have codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There is some sort of codependent relationship here. I see that here with the Six of Pentacles. Someone is very dependent on the other person. Could be for finances. Could be you were trying to help this person somehow. But you realize no matter how much you help them, it's, it's a wasted effort. And now you you seem to be completely done, or this or vice versa. This person could be completely done with you, but someone's ready to 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 leave this codependent situation behind and free themselves from it. The other person could also be fighting, you know, with you because they don't want to end this relationship. They want to keep it. But it seems like ultimately that's not going to happen here for the majority of you. All right, Leos. So that is your general love reading. If you want to do a private reading with me, something more specific to your situation, you can purchase a reading on my website. That link will be down in the description. It's just readstarot.com. Also, if you want to submit a question for the monthly mini reads, you can join my Patreon. The link is down below. And there you can ask your question and I'll answer it here on YouTube for you, okay? So, Leos, I hope you guys enjoy your birthday and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.